FPL operates under the premise that food security does not end at harvest. And we seek to answer the question of how can limited resource people preserve, acquire, and consume food that is healthy, safe, and nutritious, and have that food last from one harvest to the next. It's a daunting challenge with two of the main threats being insects and rodents, which affect the quantity and quality of food that people can consume. Insects and rodents are observable problems, but another major threat that's often unobservable are aflatoxins, which are caused by fungi and are often unobservable to the people who consume the food. For example, the maize to the right is infected with aflatoxin, but looks pretty good to eat. We want to overcome the observable and unobservable challenges to create food that can feed a healthy and growing population. FPL accomplishes these goals across the entire post-harvest value chain through a multidisciplinary team of Purdue faculty who work with local collaborators in Kenya and Senegal. And we work with local research and extension personnel along with private sector partners to develop, disseminate, and commercialize sustainable market-driven innovations. The first innovation is training people on best practices for post-harvest management. One of the main things people can do is not dry their grain on the ground. And we provide a suite of options that can help improve drying availability. We also offer and promote a low-cost moisture detection device called a hygrometer. We also promote and improved low-cost storage option, such as the PIX bag. Our interventions have been proven to be effective. Quantitatively, we find that aflatoxin levels are lower and people who have received our drying interventions, the training, the hygrometer, and the tarp, and they're even lower when you combine the PIX bag, the storage technology with the drying technologies. Beyond drying and storage, we move along the value chain to work with processors to develop safe, nutritious foods, such as low cost extrusion for nutritious instant flowers and demand driven products like couscous and porridges that target 25% of the recommended daily allowance for shortfall micronutrients. We disseminate technologies and develop and strengthen local entrepreneurs through incubation centers that are developed through a hub and spoke model. We ultimately want to create high quality, nutritious food products that people want to eat with a market led fortification strategy that provides local nutritious food products. This video shows a local entrepreneur in Senegal using three FPL technologies in her business, the extruder, the dehydration tray, and the hygrometer. FPL, the post-harvest value chain innovation lab, with thanks to our partners in Kenya and Senegal who make this work possible, and financial support from the US government Feed the Future program.